What is up guys, Jarv here, back today, jumping into Destiny 2. Today's Friday, which means our friendly neighborhood trash collector, Zer, is back once again. As you can see, we're making our way over to the cliffside here. Don't know where I'm even going right now. There's a cave over here. There we are. We'll take the shortcut, we'll go through the cave. But he's in uh, the winding cove over in the European dead zone. And as you can see, we've got a bit of a crowd here this week. So here we are on the map. Cool. Let's have a little look and see what goodies he's got for us this week. Oh, dear. Okay. I see how it is. All right. We'll start off here as we always do. So we got the exotic engram. So if your collection is incomplete and you have any missing exotics, be sure to pick this up to fill your collection out. And if your collection is already full, it will provide a guaranteed piece of exotic armor instead. You can purchase it using legendary shards. Or you can use an exotic cipher. And if you don't have one, you can do this quest here to earn one to use. Quick skim. So we have Telesto as the weapon of the week. Foe tracers for you hunters. Mark 44 standard sides for you titans. And Phoenix protocols for you warlocks. Telesto then. Unplanned reprieve. Fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. It's the weapon that breaks the game more often than most. And it's will break the game if you have 12 in your fire team and use this weapon. So be aware of that if you're going to be making the most of that until it gets fixed before the 16th of March. But this weapon itself, yeah, it's good, but it will break the game. But if you don't have it, it's worth having a bit of fun with it in the meantime. Foe Tracer then for you hunters. Void Affinity 63 stat weighted towards recovery and discipline and mobility. Relentless Tracker so you'll visually mark target enemies and deal... Sorry, deals more damage to low health marked enemies. Doesn't really see a great deal of use. I think there's a lot more popular hunter helmets available, uh, which means these sort of take a back seat, I guess. But if you have any build recommendations, then be sure to sound off down below. I'll be very interested to hear them. But if you don't have them, it's not a bad roll on the foe tracers, really. And they're worth picking up to add to your collection. The standard sides then, Void Affinity once again, 62 stat, and it's pretty even across the board. 10s and 11s and 12s there. So seriously watch out as the armor's perks. It grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with size knit strike, hammer strike, and shield bash equipped and charge. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. Again, I think these are overpowered by other boots on Titans. I use these very briefly, but then I quickly switch back to my Doom Marchers because they sort of come in clutch in PvE and get you the odd surprise kill in PvP. But nevertheless, these do a thing and they do a thing very well like i said though they are outshined by other exotics uh, no ornaments either but they're worth having in your collection if you don't have them anyway and lastly phoenix protocols we've got the solar affinity 61 stats the lowest of the week but it is heavily weighted towards mobility and discipline battle hearth is the armor's perks who kills and assists you make while standing in your well returns super energy Super powerful, used to be the go-to ones back in the Reckoning days, um, and a team of Phoenix Protocol Warlocks can make raid activities and end game, contact, end game content sorry, very easy indeed. So worth picking up, and this isn't a terrible roll. It might not be the highest stat, but it is quite well distributed. Um, there are ornaments, which I sadly don't have, but nevertheless worth adding to your collection anyway. So there we go, that is Zerv uh, for this week. No trials this week. It has been disabled and will be returning at a later date. So be sure to stay stuck to the channel and we'll keep you posted. If you have enjoyed this video, though, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.